by blessing the name of the Lord in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Father God, we thank you for this wonderful time you have given it to us. We thank you for your care. We thank you for your love, your protection, your provision, your love, and everything you have offered to we, human beings. We are so grateful for whatever we see, we have heard. The people we have related with, you are so good, Lord. And we invite you right now to lead us in this short session. King of kings, Lord of lords, Mother Mary, you are our intercessor. We thank you, we praise you. Through Christ, we make our prayer. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. When we talk about prayer, and many times we have talked about prayer, we have discussed about prayer, we have taught about prayer, practically, many of us have not prayed. And we have good sessions we offer to people about prayer, but the practical part of it, we have not done it. Many of us, we have done not, we have not done it. Sometimes we just recite a prayer. Prayer involves our feelings, our awareness, our reactions. The inner person go out for God. The inner being go out for God. It is where we can really say that we pray. Sometimes we just say prayer, but we don't pray. We need to pray. Look what the situation is around. Look uh, when you look into the family. What is going on? Is it, is it a blessing? Are we happy the way families are being? Uh, are functioning? The way we operate our activities? When we look into the government, when you, re you look into the civil servants, what is there? Can't it call you to pray? To sit and say, God, look here. God, reach here. God, attack here. God, be in here. God, intervene. Because whatever situation we see, most of the, uh, the situations we see or we, we go through, it is beyond our imagination, beyond our ability. Which shows that we are to call on the one who can manage every situation, the owner of the earth, the owner of the people, and the owner of the situation is. He is the only to be consulted, to be asked, to be requested, to be pleaded to. So, when we talk about prayer, friends, let us pray. Let us pray. Let us reach God. Let us consult God. Let us hear from him what is his voice in this prevailing situation. As we look into the family, as we deal with the families, especially for us as the Holy Cross Family Ministries, we are called to cause families to pray. Look into the families. Look at the children. Look at the married people. Look at those less privileged people. Look at the way they do things. The way the communication in the families, it causes us to pray. So, friends, let us pray. As we continue, or oh, continue with this new year, we need to sit. Not only talk about prayer, tell people to pray, but let us pray. Each one of us, you are called to pray. There's no specific person who is supposed to pray for you or to pray for others. Every person is called to sit, is called to stand, is called to, to kneel, is called to plead before God, to see that the heaviness comes and intervene in the different situations which are prevailing in the lives of you, human, human beings. With this, I just invite you that we don't again to do the same mistake I'm telling you. Let us kneel and pray. Let us pray. 
let us reach God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you for this new year. We thank you for the people whom, Lord Jesus, you have given to us, especially our family members. We thank you for that very family of our neighbor. We thank you, Jesus, for the entire world because it belongs to you. And you created it for a purpose. You made it for a purpose. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray that may you reach every country, reach every family, reach every institution, reach every assignment, reach every individual, that may every person see you. May every person be convicted by your presence. May you every person be touched by your presence and do your holy will, O oh God. We pray for those who are struggling, especially in the families, the whole lack everything, especially the edibles, don't have what to eat, those who don't have what to put on, what to use, those who are looking for what to, to do, who are jobless, those who are desperate with confusion of what is coming next, especially those who are sick in our families, God may you see them through, bring healing, bring comfort, bring restoration, bring freedom to their lives oh god we want to pray for those who are going back to school many are lacking tuition upkeep and other things lord we want to pray for your provision so that child who has struggled looking for education but no person to support nowhere to get the support lord you are the owner you are the owner of any person of every person you see people who are able to reach out to these people who want to go for studies lord may they see the need and may they come in father we want to pray even for the parents who are looking for school fees may you lord be the be their consolation by offering them they need kind of glory those who are beginning their activities in this year, bless their working places, their bosses, and even their workmates. Lord, may us be one. May the family members be one. May all those who are working be one. May we see you in whatever we do. Guide us, lead us, inspire us, teach us, protect us against all forces, against all powers. We shall praise you, we shall honor you, we shall worship you at all times. Through Christ, make a prayer. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed you among the women, and blessed the fruit of your Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.